Susan at 502 this morning back here in Highland Park, the scene of America's latest mass shooting this time right here in this Chicago suburb, just an hour south of Milwaukee, 25 miles north of Chicago. Behind me, there are still chairs wagons and more left behind by the people that had to flee this parade yesterday when that shooting happened. Yeah, just a surreal scene behind you, Tom. Children and their families were just out enjoying the holiday and they're coping with that tragedy this morning. Now, police are questioning the young man they took into custody last night. He was named as a person of interest just hours before he was caught. Yeah, and this morning as the investigation continues, a motive is still unclear. A 4th of July celebration quickly shifts to chaos. All of a sudden you hear these howitzer type noises coming. Pow, pow, I mean a sound I've never heard before. Gunman with a high powered rifle apparently firing from a nearby building at spectators lining the parade route. You saw massive amounts of blood in the people that were gone. Their injuries were horrific. Families rushed to escape the parade route, leaving behind row after row of empty chairs. Officers locating a weapon early and tracking down a person of interest. The person of interest, Robert Cremo III, uh, was spotted by a North Chicago unit. That subject did flee. Uh, a brief pursuit uh, was uh, had went on. Uh, ultimately, they were able to get the subject stopped uh, at Wesley and 41 in Lake Forest. Uh, the subject was taken into custody without incident. The holiday in this Chicago suburb turning into a nightmare. On a day that we came together to celebrate community and freedom, we're instead mourning the loss, the tragic loss of life and struggling with the terror that was brought upon us. The latest in a string of U.S. cities this summer now dealing with overwhelming heartache and unthinkable loss. Going in depth here this morning in Highland Park, the governor of Illinois, J.B. Pritzker, says there are no words for the kind of monster who lies in wait and fires into a crowd of families with children celebrating a holiday with their community. That all happened right here on the streets behind me. And that parade is now sadly the latest black backdrop for another mass shooting. And Andrew Albers uh, in the newsroom this morning with some perspective about how often this is happening here in America. Andrea, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Tom. This morning, Highland Park is on a list that no city wants to be part of. It includes an elementary school in Uvalde, Texas, a church in Laguna Woods, California, and a supermarket in Buffalo, New York, places where people are dying from gun violence. The number of active shooter incidents has hit new highs in the last decade. The FBI describes active shooter incidents as events in which someone is engaged in killing or attempting to kill people in a populated area. And according to FBI data, there have been twice as many active shooter incidents in the last 11 years as there were in the 11 before. There were 61 last year, which topped the previous record of 40. And here's a wider view. There have been at least 311 mass shootings in the U.S. so far just this year. That's according to the Gun Violence Archive, which defines a mass shooting as one in which at least four people are shot. Reporting in the newsroom, Andrea Albers, Team J4 News. Andrea, thank you. There is, of course, a lot of crossover between Wisconsin and Illinois. And in Kenosha, a barbecue shop is stepping up to help first responders here in Highland Park. As a former first responder himself, the owner knew that he had to help, so he emptied out his kitchen in Kenosha, bringing 500 meals right here to Highland Park. And the Milwaukee Brewers paid tribute at American Family Field. Players and fans paused for a moment of silence for the victims of the shooting before Monday's game against the Chicago Cubs. And as we learn more information on this developing situation here in Highland Park, you can find TMJ's latest coverage on our mobile online sites and wherever you stream. We'll be back here throughout the morning with updates, but for now, Susan, we'll send it back inside to you.